Management of Root Canal Perforations Case Report. This radiograph shows a premolar that uh, the dentist did not stay within the confines of the root canal and went drilling more laterally to make two perforations. He obturated one of the perforations, leaving the other uh, open. At the same time, he did not uh, go to the full working length uh, in instrumentation and obturation. And as we can see here, there's an underextension of about five to six millimeters uh, from the apical area which made this periapical lesion. Perforation was found in, uh, to be in the mesiolingual area to the main canal. This was uh, seen by the microscope. Removal of the gutta percha was performed by the Pro taper retreatment kit, the three instruments, one by one, and copious irrigation and cleaning by sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. The underextended gutta percha was removed by the pro taper retreatment kit to open up the canal so that we can instrument this apical region that was uninstrumented and unobturated. Again, we uh, irrigate and clean by sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. Instrumentation was done to the apical part of the root canal by the wave one gold instrument. First of all, by the small wave, wave one gold, we ensure that the canal is wide enough. Then we use the primary wave one gold. And then after that, we have to bear in mind, we have to irrigate and clean between each instrument by sodium hypochlorite and EDTA. The obturation phase was done by the use of the core carrier cone. Uh, we call it the soft core from the CMS company in Denmark. And obturation was uh, in, uh, into the perforated areas was done by MTA.